Welcome to Technique Tuesday. Uh, this week we're going to do a masking technique. So the two cards that I've got sitting in front of us here are the technique. To do this we're going to use a Spellbinders die. Any uh, simple shape will do. Circles, ovals, rectangles like this. Uh, you cut a hole in a piece of book transparency. I've actually got a coloured piece so that you can see it. Take a plain piece of white cardstock. We're going to lay our stencil over the top of the white cardstock. Then we're going to take some Distress inks. So I'm going to use some Broken China and some Walnut Stain. Take your ink applicator tool. Apply a piece of the felt. Ink up your tool and coming in a circular motion in from the side, like so, blend from the side into the white cardstock. So you don't start right in the middle because if you do, you're going to end up stamping the shape of the foam onto your workpiece, which is not what you want. So now I'm taking the walnut stain and I'm basically working in a circular motion and inking right through the center so that there's no more white cardstock visible through my stencil. So once I've blended that really nicely. I shall get my hands out of the way so that you can see it. So there it is there. That's my background. From there all you do is take a stamp. I'm going to stamp on this with archival ink, black archival ink. I've got a leaf stamp here. This is a La Blanche stamp but any stamp would do. I've used uh, previously Tim, some of Tim Holtz stamps. We've also got a range of these beautiful little um, clear stamps so any of those would work. You can almost see if I pop it over the top that it's stamped on it would look really really nice. So I've inked out my leaf stamp. I'm now going to stamp it slightly off the edge. I'm not going to stamp it right into the middle of where I've placed my sponging. Lift off and then all I need to do from there to make it into a very simple card is just mat it onto some black card. So there's my completed card there. Quick and easy. Great for Christmas cards if you use Christmas toned inks and your backing card is a colour to match the inks that you've stamped with. And that's called masking. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon. Bye.